So we've got some baby's breath in the studio today and it's very classic, it's very easy to care for, very hearty. There's a few things that you should know about it. For starters, it is an olfactory nightmare, I'm just gonna tell you right now. Uh, we get emails from customers sometimes and they're like, I think my baby's breath went bad because it like smells terrible. <laughs> As a florist, I'm like, welcome, welcome to my life. Uh, yeah, and then let's think about the name. Like, does a baby's breath really smell good like to anybody other than its mother? No, it smells like sour milk and that's pretty much what we're dealing with here. But uh, yeah, air it outside a little bit and it fades a bit, but that's the one thing that you should know. Other than that, it's pretty easy to care for, but it does need water. So when I was a new florist, one day I thought I'd be lazy, thought I'd process it the next day, thought I could just leave it hanging out on its own. And the next day these buds have shrunk and become a little bit crunchy on me. So just because it's you know known as a less expensive filler flower, doesn't mean that it doesn't need water. So give it a fresh cut and put it in a bucket of water. Other than that, it's really hardy, great to work with. If you're not wanting a lot of greenery for an install, it makes a really good base. That way you can backfill other flowers. I really like it. Uh, just kind of keep away from roses and leather leaf and sprigs of baby's breath because that will take it in kind of an 80s direction, unless that's what you're going for. But I love this stuff.